Hi crafters! Today I'm going to be doing a first impression type of video on the new release by Color Arte on the Vivid Ultra Metallics. The Vivid Ultra Metallics are new paints by Color Arte um, and they're supposed to be really really shiny and have like a mirror like finish and some of them especially the silver one and some other ones that um, are kind of supposed to resemble like a real metals they actually contain like powdered metal as well um, and the name says um, which ones they are so for example the silver definitely has the metal in it so it's true metals true silver that's um, that's what the silver ones is called let me kind of get that zoomed in um, it doesn't want to zoom in today okay that's fine you can trust me when I say that, hopefully. Um, and then what are, what other we have that have a similar name? True Metals Dr uh, Dragon Gold, we have that one as well. Uh, and there are some other ones as well. Here we go, True Metals Autumn, Autumn Flame. So that's another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do quick impressions and see, um, you know, how they look like. Uh, on the first glance, at the first glance, um, and what are the properties? And I'm going to do a quick comparison to the um, silks as well. So I've got a few few colours of silks, which are the same as the colours of um, and the Vivid Metallics. Okay, let's get started. So I've got the starter set. These bottles come in one uh, ounce and four ounce um, sizes. I've got the starter set, which comes in one ounce of each colour that is available at the moment so i think it's 24 colors up here so i'm just going to move them to the side very quickly and i'm going to take a wide it's just white cardstock and i'm just going to use a few of the paints just to see what the viscosity is like you know how quickly they absorb into the paper uh, and also how they look like so I'm going to take some of those uh, true metal ones and i'm also going to take just like a regular color so for a regular colour, let's go with blue, that one doesn't have a sticker. Uh, so maybe we'll go with African Jade and I'm also going to try the True Metals uh, Dragon Gold. Okay, so um, they come in a squeezy little bottles, sque squeezy tube bottles. Um, so they're quite easy to squeeze out, which is good. Okay, so they do come out quite thick. And then when you twist it back, you've got a little drop of paint on top of here, okay? I'm just going to take a paint brush now and give this a little bit of spread on my paper. Okay, so I can see that the coverage is very light, so that's quite similar to silks. Although I can already see that the level of pigmentation um, is much, much higher. It's not the, sorry, it's not the pigmentation, it's actually the shine. It's actually the, the kind of metallic side of things. That's much higher comparing to uh, to the um, silks okay so I'm going to take another brush and another color I'm just going to give this a wipe and I'm going to try that true metal one so I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out oh that's beautiful that's a proper like coppery gold vintage gold that's really really beautiful color and okay here we go so when you just spread it on your sheet of paper, obviously a lot gets gets absorbed on your uh, on, into your brush bristles. But uh, okay, they do definitely act differently comparing to the regular colours. But let's just add a little bit more and see if we can perhaps uh, get a little more coverage going. Okay, we definitely can, and that colour is stunning. And it's really, really, really metallic. -y. Okay, let me lift that up a little bit and show you in the light. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to do a quick comparison now um, with the silk. So I've got the Snapdragon. Trust me, this is the Snapdragon one. And I'm going to take the Snapdragon in the Vivid Metallics. Let me just find that one. Here we go, Snapdragon. Okay, so that Snapdragon squeezed on the... Um, I think you also need supposed to really sh shake them really well. That's what it says on the website and what it says on the bottle. So I'm just going to give it a good shake. Now I have taken a little bit out. I'm just a bit worried that it's just going to go everywhere. But that should hopefully do it. Here we go. Yeah. 
that's a slightly different consistency and also so I've got my snapdragon here so I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and whichever brush will do really and just pop them here okay so I can see a difference in color but they, that also might be because my uh, snapdragon is not shaking very well and I can see that there's quite a lot of pigment underneath here so I'm going to spread that that's definitely the coverage is definitely much higher and here we go so I can see they're actually reacting quite similarly okay I might just give this one a little more shake I believe that if you're not very successful with shaking them then you should probably just open them up and give them a good stir let me just pick a different color so that I can do another comparison so I've got the teal zircon here and I believe I've got that one as well yep that's here I'm just going to give it a mix just to make sure that I get really nice real true color okay so that's shaking now so i'm just going to squeeze oh that's definitely much better you can't see that so just move this up so i've got this color here i've got the teal zircon in the vivid metallics and i also have the uh, teal zircon silks so i'm just going to take that and pop a little bit out this brush is probably a little too big okay so that's my teal zircon silks and i'm just going to switch brushes because i really don't want to kind of cross contaminate it especially especially if i'm comparing those two and i'm just spreading the vivid ultra metallics yes and i can definitely see a difference now um i will try to demonstrate on camera here the vivid ultra metallics are very very shiny they just have that luster that the uh, silks don't have so there's definitely a difference i'm not sure if it's showing that well on camera but let me try to zoom that in and see if you can see the elements of pigment i think you can see that now that metallic effect the colour that's really, really exciting and it uh, excites quite a lot of people is the silver because um, it's supposed to be real, real true silver. So I'm just going to, going to give it a go and we will see how that actually looks like. Um, so I'm just going to squeeze. Oh, wow. OK, when you squeeze a little bit out of that silver, it really looks like liquid silver. So let me just zoom in for you and demonstrate that. OK, so that's that. Um, and I'm just going to take a clean brush and just spread this. Wow okay so that's definitely one of my favorites the actual the paints that have the actual true metal powder i think they're definitely something that i like the most so let me just zoom that in and show you how that looks like that's beautiful absolutely stunning okay so that's very first impression on the Vivid Ultra Metallics by Color Arte. Um, I am going to um, do some more in-depth uh, review when I had the chance to play a little bit more. But so far so good. I really like the, um, the pigmentation and I really like the metallic effect. I love the metallic effect. In majority of my uh, pieces I use metallic paints and pigments etc. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this um, and I will see you next time. Bye!